Hey guys, how's it going? Tiger Croc here. And before I get started with this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you're alerted for my next video on YouTube. Leave a like and share this video with everyone and post a friendly comment. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about why Stu Mocker and Sidney Prescott will most likely return in Scream 7. And I'm also going to be talking about my early predictions for the 7th film if we get one because I heard that it's a big possibility we will get Scream 7 and apparently it's going to start filming later this year in fall. So anyways, let's get started with this video. So in Scream 6, when Kirby Reed was showing all the ghost faces, Stu and Mickey were the only ones with a question mark on them. However, Mickey is definitely dead as he got shot like a billion times, so perhaps his body wasn't found because someone else stole it, or maybe there's like an unsolved mystery surrounding him. However, here's the other thing. When everyone was in the shrine in Scream 6, Kirby says to Mindy, the TV that killed Stu Mocker, and Mindy said, if you really believe he's dead, which hints he's probably still alive. We know for a fact he is alive because he was in Scream 5 in the hospital scene where he gutted Dewey. And of course, he was on the phone call with Tara and the opening scene of Scream 5 as well. I honestly knew he wouldn't have been in Scream 6 for a few reasons. One, Sidney Prescott, who is Stu Mocker's main target, wasn't in Scream 6. Two, Scream 6 was in New York while Stu was probably still in Woodsboro with his cult of Ghostface planning his next attack. Three, it wouldn't make sense for Stu to be here as this movie focuses on Richie's family getting revenge for Richie's death while Stu doesn't give a fuck about Richie as Richie's death isn't Stu's motive. Stu's motive is to kill Sydney and Gail because they killed his best friend Billy Loomis. If Stu returns in Scream 7, I think there should be a flashback scene to Dewey's death, but this time it's extended and after the ghost face kills Dewey, we see the ghost face taking the mask off revealing it to be Stu Mocker. Because there's now even more proof that Stu killed Dewey because Stu said in Scream 1 it takes a man to be able to gut someone as a woman like Amber is just way too weak and useless to even stand a chance to someone as powerful as Dewey. And the fact he said yes today, it's an honor, means he, f he said that because he finally got to, you know, kill Dewey. And when he said it's an honor, it means it's an honor because Stu finally got to get his revenge on Dewey. If Amber killed Dewey, she would not have said those words and she probably would have used a gun because a knife or just bare hands she wouldn't be able to do it and also her style of killing is stabbing fast multiple times as she did that to uh sheriff judy hicks and also chad however when Stu kills he guts people and then when richie kills he goes for the neck but yeah this is why i believe Stu has a way better chance of returning in scream 7 than he did in scream 6 however if he sadly doesn't return in scream 7 then unfortunately guys i've lost all hope at this point because if, if he wasn't like fully shown in Scream 5, wasn't in Scream 6, wasn't in Scream 7. At this point, he won't return. So Scream 7 is probably his final chance to return. So I'm really praying that, you know, they make Stu come back because it would be awesome to see him again. Also, if Stu and Sydney see each other again, it would be epic to hear Stu say surprise Sydney one last time. And if Stu returns, we need to see him talking to Billy Loomis's spirit. That would be super epic. Perhaps Billy could like, you know, motivate him to go after uh, Gail, Sydney, and the others. And since a cult of Ghostface almost happened in Scream 6, I feel like it's definitely going to happen in Scream 7, with Stu being the new mastermind behind it all, since Roman Bridger and Billy Loomis are out of the picture since they're confirmed dead. Also, the main question is, where was Stu for 26 years, and why now is he coming back? Well, I think I might have the answer to that, because what I believe is he wanted to make a perfect plan so he could win this time by seeing how all the other Ghostfaces failed so he wouldn't make the same mistakes as they did, and he's also probably having a hard time finding a cult of Ghostface to work with him so he can go after all the people that are involved with uh, Ghostface, mainly going after Gail and Sydney because they killed Billy. And I doubt he's in jail because here's the thing, if Stu Mocker was sent to jail after Scream 1, we would have heard about this a long time ago, even before Scream 5. So therefore, he's probably hiding somewhere, whether like you know he's homeless or whether he's hiding with his parents or maybe he has his own place that's like hidden somewhere. I don't know, but he's definitely hiding somewhere if, if he's alive because, again, if he was in jail, we would have known about this a long time ago. But if Stu isn't in Scream 7, I wonder who the killers will be and what their motive will be. It's really hard to tell at this point because, you know, obviously they're not going to do another Richie's family situation because they were killed. So, like, what I think might happen if Stu is not going to be in Scream 7, is it's probably going to be just, you know, some other people that are inspired by the movies, just kind of like Scream 5, which would kind of suck but uh, like uh, hopefully that doesn't happen i think it'd be better to see Stu with a cult of ghost face and scream seven i think that would make the movie way more scary and interesting but 
It's really hard to tell at this point. Also, another cool way to show why Stu Mocker is like the ghost face that has a question mark on his name in Scream 6. What if we get like a flashback in Scream 7 showing like, you know, him under the TV and then once the cops arrive and they get there, his his body is no longer under the TV. It's kind of like he escaped and that was the last I've ever seen of him. I think something like that would be really cool and, and would explain why no one knows his whereabouts and whether he's alive or dead or not. But anyways, guys, what are all your thoughts on this? Do you think Stu Mocker and Sidney Prescott will return in Scream 7? Do you think they won't return? And if they don't return, who do you think the killers will be and what do you think their motive will be? And do you think it's possible we'll see a flashback to Dewey's death extended with Stu taking off his mask, revealing it's him? And also, what are your predictions for Scream 7 if Stu's there or not there? Let me know in the comments down below, and hopefully Stu Mocker returns.